Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys how to play six very high skilled brawlers in Brawl Stars. We're going to give you guys a couple tips with each of them and just some basic strategies that are going to make them a lot more simple for you guys to play. Now at face value, these brawlers are going to be very difficult and have a lot of pop off ability. But with these tips I'm going to give you guys, it should be easier for a more casual player to kind of pop off with these high skill brawlers. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's get going. So hopping into the first game here, we're going to be showing you guys Brock. Now Brock is obviously a very high skill brawler because it's just one shot that does a lot of damage. But you do have a lot of shots and you do do a lot of damage. Do do. Um, so anyways, Brock, there's a lot of tricks that actually make Brock a really simple brawler. This is my biggest one 100%. The big gadget rocket fuel, which we recently put high up in our top 10 gadgets list, is very overpowered and you guys just saw why exactly there. There are many brawlers in the game, such as Piper, Brock, Colt, Rico, Bell, Nani. Basically, any squishy brawler in the game, any brawler with 4,000 or less HP, actually a little bit under 4,000, gets two shot by Brock, and it's super simple to hit. All you guys have to do is hit your first shot at max range. It's not going to work if it's close range. You guys are going to see why shortly. And then all you have to do is click that auto aim button to finish them off because they're only two shot with your regular shot plus the big rocket. You guys are going to see with the cult right there, you just auto aim your big rocket because the explosive radius is so big. And if you're at the max distance, it's going to be a very easy shot to hit. So in theory, you only have to hit one shot with Brock. Uh, well, yeah, one shot with Brock in order to kill really low HP targets. You guys are going to see here a good example. I try and auto aim when it's not at the max distance and the Brock is able to go to the side. You only want to take your big Brock shots when someone is one like tile away from you or two tiles away from you or when they're at the max range. That is the biggest tip with Brock I can give you guys. Another one is using your super not only to kill people but also to break walls. Obviously, the more open map, the better. These guys gave up because the score was so big. But anyways, with Brock, you guys want to just be breaking the walls. That big rocket in the auto aim 2 tap is the most important thing with Brock. So just play it on maps where you're going to be expecting to face a lot of weak brawlers. Do that and you guys should be golden with Brock. So our next brawler here is going to be Piper. And with Piper, the two tips remain the same. If there is a brawler that you two tap, so you do 2,128 damage, I believe. So anyone under 4k HP or at around 4k just above, you guys can two tap with your gadget. So all you guys want to do is hit your first shot, click the gadget button and just auto aim. Additionally, same with Brock, as you guys can see on your screen, open the walls opening walls is so crucial you guys can see right there unfortunately he body blocked it but just one shot click the green button and auto aim that's all you guys are gonna have to do you guys are gonna see it soon it's super simple people think it's really high skill to do it it's really not you essentially just have to hit one shot you guys see here one auto aim and he's dead now those shots i mean those were just good shots but the two taps are really simple and when you're playing bounty you're playing brawlers like nani another piper throwers brock etc you guys just want to get that two tap going and breaking the walls of course now if you're playing piper as a mid something that's really good is helping out your lane so you guys want to be able to just shoot your lanes try and tap them up a little bit stuff like that but yeah the curves are the most important part just find someone that's two tap get on his lane take one shot green button auto aim exact same as brock and you guys are going to be able to get some easy kills so our next brawler here today is going to be none other than the treat giver ruffs so ruffs is obviously a very high skill brawler now it doesn't have the pop-off ability that necessarily a brock a piper a rico or a colt has but ruffs is really high skilled and really good when you can figure out how to play him you guys can see right now we're facing double tank poco so if you're facing a comp like this again you just want to break the walls and get it to your advantage you guys see when i use my super outside of right there i'm giving the walls a break i, I kind of sounded weird but we're basically breaking the walls you can also throw the super on top of yourself if you think you're going to go down but that's not really a great tip you know it's just something that you should do in general but you guys are going to see when i get treats i'm just going to break the walls that's all you want to do open up the map it is very important and you also want to use your bounces using the bounces are really important pretend it's like a rico use your bounces to get hits if you can play roughs properly it is one of the best brawlers in the game which is why you guys see it in competitive so much you can power up your teammates and power up the right teammates. Ruffs is a really, really good brawler. And there's basically nothing that they can do into Ruffs because you can counter them. You can even not counter them. But the fact that you guys are going to be juiced up given the treats, there's nothing that they're going to be able to do against you. Ruffs is just so ridiculously strong once you get everyone powered up. And as you guys can see here, 
There's just nothing that this team can do to us now that we're all powered up. Ruffs is a little bit simple, but again, break walls, use the bounces, just use your brain, and you guys should be able to pop off really hard with Ruffs. So our next brawler here is going to be Rico. Now, Rico is easily one of the highest skill cap brawlers in the game, and it easily has the biggest, one of the biggest pop-off potentials in the game. You can go absolutely crazy with Rico, which is why you guys see so many Rico clips or Rico plays, because you can just go absolutely insane. Something you want to utilize, which is really obvious, is the walls. You can obviously bounce your shots, and that's what makes Rico so good. If you're just shooting in a straight line, there's no point of playing Rico. You might as well just be playing Colt. The bounces are what makes Rico so good. Now, there are times, like right now, where not bouncing is good. But there are also times where you want to bounce, just like I am right there, to cover a bigger area rather than just shooting straight. Now, the new gadget is super overpowered as well. That new gadget, if you're ever low in HP, just shoot it off the walls and you guys are going to be able to get to full HP. Your supers, you want to try and get collateral. You don't ever want to whiff your supers. You want to get your shots bouncing. You want to throw off your opponents. But again, just getting those bounces and playing this brawler on maps where there are a lot of walls, such as Hard Rock Mine, is really, really good. It's kind of hard to get that first lane win, but once you have position with a Rico, there's basically nothing that they can do to get into you because you do a lot of damage. You can regen whenever you want with the new gadget. You're speedy if it ever gets to that, which is super strong. I love being speedy with Rico. And you just have way more range than they normally will. So, Rico, again, high skill brawler. You guys want to just be bouncing, you know, doing that type of stuff. But more importantly, just playing on the right map. And it's going to be super easy for you guys to play. Let's hop over to the next brawler. Let's keep going. So, going into the next brawler here, we obviously have Colt. And Colt is easily probably the most high skill pop-off brawler in the game. Now, what you guys want to be doing with Colt is really simple. You guys want to break as many walls as possible. That's going to be my number one tip. If you guys are using your super to try and get clips and not break walls, you're playing Colt completely wrong. You guys can see how open the map is right now. Compared to what it was at the start, the map is entirely open. It basically looks like overtime and brawl ball for the most part besides our half of the map because, you know, we've been kind of clapping them all game, so there isn't really an hour half of the map that we've been playing on. But regardless, now that it's overtime, when it's open map, something you guys want to do to ensure that you get more full clips is you want to strafe with your shots. So you guys can see when I'm taking my shots, if I'm shooting to the right, I'm walking to the right. If I'm shooting to the left, I'm strafing to the left. I'm never shooting left and walking right or shooting right and walking left. It's just weird. It's not going to work out. It's not going to get you those full clips. And as you guys can see here, you kind of want to change things up. So you don't want to go always right if you're aiming your super and trying to get a full clip. You want to go right then left and then left then right so that you can walk into it. Now again, I'm not the best Colt in the game, so I'm not going to be going crazy. It's not like I record 100 games for this. I just play one singular game and try and get some recordings for you. But with Colt, break the walls, number one. Strafe with your shots, number two. And that's basically going to make you a way better Colt. You guys are seeing the clips you've been able to get this game. Again, it's just been one game. It's not like I'm recording like crazy. But that's going to be my tips with Colt. So let's hop onto the final brawler now. And let's get into it. So our final brawler that we're going to be showing you guys today is Dinah. Now, Dinah, just like Colt, has one of the biggest pop-off potentials in the game but at the same time it is very hard to do so we're going to teach you guys exactly how to be a good dynamite so something you guys want to do is make your movement very weird you want to walk in an abnormal way you want to shoot in weird patterns you don't ever want to let them know or have them know where you're going to shoot also you want to be shooting different people you don't want to just be going for one person as you guys can see here i'm shooting the mic trying to super the carl you always want to go for different opponents because if they focus mic shots as you guys probably know if you stare at a mic shot and actually try and juke it it's pretty difficult but if you're just getting shot out of nowhere and not expecting it that is where mike truly comes in and does his damage you want to be using the stuns obviously because the stun is really important but basically hit your stuns have weird movement shoot different people and obviously don't use jumping dyna only luki is good with jumping dyna no one else is good with it it's a waste of a star power it's a waste of shots just demolition one shot people that is the way to go if you're playing dyna you also want to play on like siege or heist something along those lines but anyways these are really basic tips for you guys you guys might not think you know this is going to make me an insane brawler but just apply one or two of the tips that i've given for every brawler to your play when you're actually playing these brawlers and you guys are going to see how much improvement there is just by getting this basic knowledge of every brawler now if you guys want me to go in more in depth and do brawler guides for every single brawler this is something i've been thinking about for a while 
it's something i might actually do because there's not much you know content you can really make being you know good at brawl stars and not just sitting here and doing power league but anyways it's gonna be it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did as always thumbs up comment like 